Hey guys, this is Chris from VFX On, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make your text transfer into sand, or or into dust, or however you like it. We're not gonna use any magic tricks, although I would love to show you some, maybe in future, you know. But right now, we're gonna be using After Effects to achieve such a thing, and here is what we are gonna try to achieve. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump into After Effects. Okay, so let's start by creating a new, um, new solid. I mean, new composition. Um, these are my settings: 920 by 1080, 60 frames per second, 30 seconds long. And click OK. And now let's type our text. I'm gonna make it in center. I'm gonna type VFX on. Um, my text is 240, 243 pixels in size and uh, errors demi font and minus 59 uh, spacing between letters. Now let's turn off the tile action save and go to precompose and let's name this text slash logo and click OK. Now let's go to effects transition um, linear wipe let's go to about two seconds in our footage and set the keyframe to zero slider to 40 and go to about like four, fourth second of our footage set the set the presence to 100 and for now with this we are done let's go to create a new composition again let's call this wipe the same settings and let's make a new solid use white click OK um, effects um, again linear wipe and now go again to the second second of our <laughs> second second of our footage and make keyframe but this time it's gonna be 100 percent and it's gonna be minus 90 degrees and let's move to, our, to the sixth second here and set the keyframe back to zero make the feather 200 um, if you cannot follow press just the pause button on YouTube because I'm gonna try to rush through this as fast as I can for the reason that um, I kinda have some things to do still and it's getting pretty late as you can see on my computer right here so I have to kinda rush this as fast as I can okay so now go to project again new composition and let's create our um, main comp in which we're gonna do all the magic and move the wipe and text compositions in and now let's make a new solid and let's name it form now let's apply the trap code form plugin finally now go to base form and set the size um, basically the size X and size Y will be your resolution of your uh, of your composition of your project the same will be for particles X and Y so mine is 1920 by 1080 and the same like I said is for particle 6 and Y so 90 20 by 1080 and particles in Z change it to 1 now for this is all done we can close this down now go to layer maps now select color and alpha layer text slash logo functionality RGB change to RGBA and map over to X and Y go to fractal strength layer wipe map over X and Y and disperse layer wipe and X and Y let's close this down and now go to disperse and twist and fractal field okay now we can uncheck these and let's move a little bit in our time 
like to this. So these are the settings that will change how the dust or the sand or however you like to call them will um, form out. For example, um, if I type the original footage in the pre, we have 130 here. Okay, let's move a little bit more forward. No, not that far. For like here, and if I change that to, for example, like 500. You see, it, it kind of spreads them more out, so you have to. So, if your text would be smaller than this, then I would recommend to use less than 130. But for this, I'm going to stick with 130. You don't have to use the same settings, like I said, you can just use how you want. So, for the um, displace, I'm going to type 250. Flow X and Y will be 50, and flow Z will be 70, and flow evolution will be 90. Um, here everything is fine. Let's close this down. So um, on the form side, on the form plugin, we are done. Um, let's move forward. Um, let's drag again our text solid in, I mean composition in. Let's move it above our form and let's go to effects, um, transition, linear wipe. So on about the second second, <laughs> I love that second second, um, we will set the keyframe to 0 and feather to 40. And now at 301, um, I'm going to set it to 34. And the last one at 541, I will set it to 100, about like this. So next what we have to do is get rid of uh, the dust so it's not seen but to do that we have to first make the background so let's go and create a new project I mean ah, what's with the project composition let's name it BG let's make a new solid and I'm gonna use this color okay next create an again a new solid but this time I'm gonna use this kinda uh, red color, I almost said green <laughs> um, now let's go to mask, ellipse tool and just draw a nice mask, big job mask I don't know why I said that um, no first I have to set the election save so I can see you. so I'm gonna drag it just a little bit outside our frame like so, about like this. And let's click invert it and let's change the settings for the mask. Mask feather will set to 655, um, mask opacity 100, and mask expansion to minus 113. Now let's shut down the title action save and let's add again a new solid and this we are going to call particles um, particles big so now go to effects trap code um, particular okay let's open up the emitter um, particles per second let's change it to Three position X and Y. Let's change 960. That's good. But this to 543 and position Z to 210. And let's change direction to directional and emitter type to sphere. Um, direction spread. Let's change to 49. And velocity, let's change to 1640. 
velocity random let's um, leave it at 20 now velocity distribution let's change that to 2,9 and velocity from what what how do you spell that so if anyone know how to spell that can anyone leave me a comment down below I would li really like to know how you spell it Mochi, I don't know it sounds French or it's Italian I don't know how you spell that anyway um, let's set this unspellable thing to 168 emitter size X to 1236 and size Y to 0 and size Z also to 0 ok now let's change um, close the emitter and open up the particle and life in seconds at 3 particle type sphere sphere feather to 24 um, size to 111 um, 11 that's better um, size random to 76 opacity to 84 and opacity random to 80 and color to this Now let's close particle and open physics um, gravity to minus one physics time factor one now open air um, motion path off air resistance zero comma three um, air resistance rotation on um, spin amplitude to nineteen spin frequency to um, 3,4 and fade in fade in spin in seconds to 20 no 24 and wind x0 and wind y to 11 and now let's go to rendering and motion blur motion blur change to on and we can pretty much close this all down and now let's create again a new solid and let's rename let's name this particle small okay now go to the particle big layer and copy the particles effects simply on your keyboard control C or on Mac whatever your command is to copy I don't know and then go to particle small and just pass it in like so so that we would save some time for us okay go to emitter and change particles per second to 5 um, position X and Y the same position Z the same okay so at emitter everything stays the same so go to particle um, lives um, life in seconds to 10 um, randomness to 47 um, sphere, sphere feather the same and let's change the size to 15 size randomness to 47 um, opacity to 100, opacity randomness the same and color also the same. Okay, let's close the particle and open up physics. Um, gravity the same, physics time factor the same, um, motion the same, air resistance, let's change that to 0, 0,7, um, air resistance rotation off, spin amplitude the same. Uh, spin frequency the same, fade and spin the same pretty much this all stays the same and we can close this down let's move a little bit forward another time we can see it pretty much looks the same as in the preview except there is okay now go back to our main comp in the form and let's go to project and drag in the background 
So let's duplicate this and move about here. Now actually move just above all our solid, above all of our solids, and now go to effect and transition and linear wipe. I think we have worked more with linear wipe than uh, trap code form, so I think this tutorial should be renamed linear wipe or something, but no, it's just a joke. Don't worry, I will not do that. And let's um, let's change the angle to minus 90 and feather it to 251. Now let's go to 234 in our timeline. No, not 31. 34 is what I need. Now let's set the transition completion keyframe to 100. And let's go to, to 741. 41 in our timeline. And let's set the keyframe to 0. And now let's see if, as you can see, okay, let's, um, let's turn off this. As you can see, um, at this point, where is the black, the particles will be seen, but where is um, this background, um, the particles will start to disappear. So, as you can see, they are disappearing, disappearing, and bam, they're gone. Ha! Huh. That's what you get when you mess with me. So now we should change the color of our form. So let's turn the background back on. Let's go to about like here and click on the form layer. Go to effect, color correction, and CC toner. Where are you? Here you are. Um, for highlights, I will use this color. And for midtones, I will use. Um, this. Now for the shadows, I will use blue. And let's blend this with original, set it to 27. Now let's add uh, shadows to our text. Okay, we can close the CC toner. Now click on the text logo. I'll close this, go to effect, um, color correction, where is the shadows, oh shadow and highlights, here we are. And now um, for temporal smoothening we will pick 10, let's open more options, um, shadow tunnel width set to 30, 30. Um, shadow radius same, height tunnel width the same, and highlight radius same, color the same, 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 same. So that's for this. And now let's open text and logo layer and go right click on it, go to layer styles, and drop shadow. And let's change the color to this. And let's set opacity to 10. Um, distance, let's set it to 8. Um, spread to 35%. And size the same, that's the same. So for now we can keep this on because we will still work with it later on. And now let's go to new, uh, solid. Now actually Let's create a new adjustment layer and let's name this Lens Flare. Now go to Effect, no, Video Copilot, Optical Flares, and Render Mode over Original. And now let's open this up, go to Effects, Optical Flares, let's go to Start. Like this, set the keyframe, and for the position, I will use minus 236, 
and here 480. Um, let's, let's actually put it right here. Go like this. And then let's move to 10 44 and let's move it to this side like so now we can close this down for now and let's add the shadows for our text now let's go to start of our um, timeline and check the uh, keyframe at the angle and set it to 173. Now let's go to the fifth second right here and let's set it to 90. Um, so for the reason that I did not remember how what kind of settings I use for the lens flare I did copy the effect from the original preview I'm sorry I know I failed um, but I'm gonna show you what kind of options I use so um, let's go to I'm using the pro preset Big Bang and I've hided the glint uh, streak um, iris, iris and iris, the blue one, the um, the green one and the next one iris, then the spike ball, glint, iris, ring and uh, multi iris in the end so yeah So that's pretty much it on this tutorial I think guys and we have recreated my preview what I did and I hope you like this tutorial um, and if you like it you know what to press you can press thumbs up and you know you will be just an awesome person but if you want to be even more awesome because I know you want to be because who doesn't want to be awesome um, you can subscribe you can tell your friends about this and you can leave a comment down below asking some questions um, suggesting some things or or um, you know just if you want to have a chat and you feel lonely we can do that and yeah also if you want to have this uh, project um, I will give out links on Twitter if you send me a private message asking for this I will give you uh, the link to download this but for others there is no other way than to get this then on Twitter so um, the last thing I wanted to show you guys is um, what happens if we put in where's our project here it is what happens if we put in the logo in our here at the text so let's drag that in. Let's see if it's pretty much in the place. No, it's not. Let's move it just a little bit up so it's in the place. Um, the reason why this effect is so cool, so awesome, so great and stuff. Um, now we have to turn this off. Is because it's so easily to adjust. Because I now put in the logo and as you can see it's now adjusting it to logo. And in the end my logo is pretty much gone so that's a good thing about it and it's really easy to adjust everything so I hope you like it like I said and and yeah subscribe thumb it up and share tell your friends tell your mom tell your dad tell your brother sister um, you know neighbors everyone just and um, yeah hope you like it and see you in next tutorial somewhere in future bye